Today's Bible study is titled The Faith of Jesus Christ. One of the most powerful, misunderstood, and in modern translations, mistranslated some misparaphrased verses in the scripture is, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ, and not by the works of the law, for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Galatians 2 verse 16 Translations, other than the King James Bible, make various contorted efforts to make this verse completely about the faith in Christ expressed by those believing the gospel, 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4. But by looking at the simple construction of the doctrine Paul is directed by Holy Spirit to pen in this verse, making it about our faith is completely disingenuous. This is particularly the case. Given that the faith of Christ is referenced in five or six other locations in the revelation given to the Apostle Paul. Let's break today's verses down. First, Paul notes that believers can be knowing that no man is justified by works of the law. This is a key teaching and correction that Paul frequently addresses, particularly in his Galatian epistle, since there were those who had troubled believers in Galatia saying except you be circumcised after the manner of Moses, you cannot be saved. Acts 15 verse 1 Text here second, and continuing with the knowing, we find that instead man can only be justified by the faith of Jesus Christ. This statement stands as foundational for everything Paul is saying here. Therefore, because of knowing the first and second items above, believers have believed in Jesus Christ. This is our faith initially expressed in believing the gospel, 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4, and by grace through faith being saved, Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 9. Because of the faith of Christ, we have believed in Jesus Christ, and this is that we might be justified by the faith of Christ. See the connection? Everything hinges upon his faith and faithfulness to go to the cross, taking the sins of the world into judgment and death and trusting the Father to raise him from the dead once the sacrifice and payment for our sins was made and accepted. And looping back, Paul again reminds that none of this had anything to do with the works of law, hammering the point home by stating, For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. When one understands the content of this verse as predicate for our salvation, It is amazing how everything for living this out can then flow from the source, Jesus Christ, and not from any works and efforts of our own. Everything depends on him and not on us. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.